Hello everyone, welcome back to my my channel. For today, we are going to discuss computing the periodic payment of an ordinary simple annuity. We are going to discuss how to compute the periodic payment of an ordinary simple annuity. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss ordinary simple annuity. Number two, determine the formula to be used in solving the periodic payment of an ordinary simple annuity. And number three, solve the periodic payment of an ordinary simple annuity. Always remember, be persistent. Soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. Do not give up because soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. What is annuity? It is a series of equal payments at regular intervals. Example of the application of annuity, that is payment of insurance premiums, leases, mortgages, pensions, personal loans, rent, and term loans. What is ordinary simple annuity again? Ordinary annuity, it is the annuity that is paid or received at the end of the time period. While simple annuity, it is the annuity in which the number of compounding periods per year coincides with the number of annuity payments per year. So these are the keywords to be remembered. It's J is equal to nominal interest rate. M is equal to the number of conversion per year. T is equal to the time period or term of the loan or investment. N is the number of payments in the annuity. R is the size of each annuity payment or it is the, period, it is the periodic payment. I is equal to interest rate per compounding period. So these are the compounding frequencies and periods. Compounding or conversion frequency for annual, that is we have one number of compounding per year. Semi-annually, we have two, that is every after six months. Quarterly, we have four compoundings per year. That is pay the payment is every after three months. Bi-monthly, we have six. Monthly, we have 12 number of compoundings per year. Let's now try to solve this problem. To accumulate 85,250 pesos, Maria Jackson needs to place equal deposit at the end of every three months in a fund which earns 18% compounded quarterly. If he will deposit the same amount in 6.25 years, how large should each deposit be? So what is the formula to be used? Since the future value is given, we are going to use R is equal to S sub N multiplied by I divided by the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. That is the formula to be remembered in determining the periodic payment of an ordinary simple annuity. Let's follow the process. Determine the given and formula to be used. So this is the problem a while ago. To accumulate 85,250 pesos, Maria Jackson needs to place equal deposit at the end of every three months in a fund which earns 18% compounded quarterly. If he will deposit the same amount in 6.25 years, how large should it deposit be? What are the given? Future value of the ordinary simple annuity is 85,250 pesos. M is for number of compoundings per year since it is quarterly. Time is 6.25 years. In order for us to get the value for N, we need to multiply time times the number of compoundings per year. That is 6.25 multiplied by 4. That is 25. We have 25 payments for the whole transactions or for the whole term. The nominal interest rate, that is 18% or 0 0.18. In order for us to get the value of I, that is I is equal to the nominal interest rate divided by M. 0 0.18 divided by the number of compoundings per year, that is 0 0.045. So these are the given. Let's now identify the formula to be used. So that is R is equal to S sub N multiplied by I over the quantity of 1 plus i raised to n minus 1. Since we have now the given, we can now substitute it on the given formula. Given, then substitute on the given formula, and it goes like this. 
85,250 multiplied by 0 0.05, which is the value for I, divided by 1 plus I, 0 0.045, raised to the value of N, that is 25, minus 1. First step, we multiply 85,250 by 0 0.045, and we are going to add 1 and 0 0.045, and it goes like this. 85,250 multiplied by 0 0.045, it's 3,836.25. Then we are going to add 1 plus 0 0.045, that is, that is 1.045. After we multiply this one and after we add this one, we are going to simplify 1.045 raised to 25. What is 1.045 raised to 25. The answer is 3.00543445654. 1.045 to 25, that is 3.00543445654. After that, we are going to subtract this one by one. 3.00543445654 minus one. The answer is 2.00543445654. 3.00543445654 minus 1. The answer is 2.00543445654. In the last step, we are going to divide 3836.25 by 2.00543445654. And the final answer is 1,912.93. So that is the amount of payment per quarter. In order for you to achieve 85,250 pesos after 6.25 years payable in, uh, in 6.25 years with an interest or nominal interest rate of 18% compounded quarterly, you need to pay 1,912.93. Okay, I hope you were able to follow our simple instruction. Let's move on on the next example. Ben Adam needs to accumulate 400,000 pesos in three years to meet future needs. What regular payment would they need to make at the end of each quarter at 8% interest compounded quarterly? That is... Solving for the periodic payment. So this is the formula R is equal to S sub 1 multiplied by I divided by the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. In order for us to solve for the periodic payment of an ordinary simple annuity. So now let's follow the step in solving it. Determine the given and the formula. So this is the problem. Ben Adam needs to accumulate 400,000 pesos in three years to meet future needs. What regular payment would they need to make at the end of each quarter at 8% interest compounded quarterly? What are the given? We have S sub N, 400,000 pesos. That is the future value. Next, number of compoundings per year. That is four because it's quarterly. Then we have three years, the term. Then we have N, that is three multiplied by four. Time multiplied by number of compoundings per year in order for us to get the total number of payments for the whole term. Three times four, that is 12. 12 payments in three years. Nominal interest rate, that is 8% or 0 0.08. In order for us to get the value for I, we need to divide the nominal interest rate by the number of compoundings per year. 0 0.08 divided by four, that is 0 0.02. So these are the given. Let's identify the formula. That is R is equal to S sub N or future value multiplied by I over the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. Let's now substitute the given on the formula and it goes like this. 400,000 I is 0 0.02 N is 12. The first step, multiply 400,000 by 0 0.02 then add 1 and 0 0.02 on the denominator. On the numerator, we are going to multiply 400,000 by 0 0.02. Then we are going to add on the denominator 1 and 0 0.02. And the answer are 
400,000 multiplied by 0 0.02, it's 8,000. 1 plus 0 0.02, it's 1.02. 400,000 multiplied by 0 0.02, it's 8,000. 1 plus 0 0.02, that is 1.02. After that, we are going to simplify 1.02 raised to 12. Simplify this one. 1.02 raised to 12, it's 1.26824179456. 1.28241179456. When you simplify 1.02 raised to 12, that is 1.28241179456. After that, after we simplify this part, we are going to subtract 1.26824179456 by minus 1. 1.26824179456 minus 1. The answer is 0 0.26824179456. The answer is 0 0.26824179456. For the final process, we are going to divide 8,000 by 0 0.26824179456. And the final answer is... 29,823.84. This will be the periodic payment every after quarter or each quarter payable in three years with an 8% um, rate of interest compounded quarterly. The amount of payment every after each quarter should be 29,823.84. Okay, we're finished with our simple instruction. I hope you were able to follow it. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching, everyone. God bless you. See you on our next tutorial. Bye.